Where are we in our fight against climate change? We're losing. We have levels of carbon dioxide that are as high as they've been in two million years. We have changes in the distribution of plants and animals, increases in wildfire, tide gauge records from around the world showing an acceleration of sea level rise. We are just now at a point where climate change is clearly impacting virtually every segment of our population. When you start to have that happen, it becomes clear that it's a call to action. We are rapidly running out of space to stop adding new greenhouse gases into the atmosphere if we want to limit the adverse consequences before the social costs really take off. We've been very, very slow to realize the importance of global climate change. What is going well is that there is an awareness that is starting to build. The workforce is demanding a low carbon future. Major industrial customers are requiring low carbon. The investors are starting to demand it. The markets have spoken and the markets have said, we're gonna make this change. We will have to bring into the marketplace technologies that are in existence now. Can it be done if we allow innovation to do what it does? Yes. A lot of different components are going to have to come together. Industries, support from government. There has to be leadership. We're going to have to start doing things at scale and try out every one of these approaches. We can't afford to get it wrong. We can become a leader in net zero technologies and in decarbonizing technologies. And I think that we can grow our economy that way. We got ourselves into this human ingenuity and working together. I mean, that's the way out.